Okay, so first of all, I have multiple charts here, and I want to change the color of the lines in all of the charts. In order to do this, I'm going to go to the View tab and then go to Macros and Record Macro, and then OK. And now the macro is recording. So I'll double click on the line to open up the formatting pane. Then I'll change the color of the line to purple. And this is one of the theme colors and it's accent five. Then I'll decrease the width of the line to just one point. And then I'll change the dash type to be a long dash. Now that I've made the changes that I want, I'm going to go back to the View tab and Macros and stop recording. Then I will right click on the sheet name and go to View Code. And this opens up the Visual Basic Editor. Then I can go to Modules and double click on Module 1. And this is the macro that I just recorded and I'm going to make changes to this macro. So I'll start by deleting the comments at the top, then I'll change the name of the macro, so I'll call this Format Charts. Then in the first line here, I'm selecting the chart area, and I don't need this, so I'll delete it. Then the next line here, I have Active Chart .full series collection one select and this is when I select the line. And then on the next line, I'm doing something with the selection. But in VBA, you don't actually need to select something in order to make changes to it. So I'm going to copy the first bit of this line here and then paste it in here to replace the word selection. Then I can delete this line here. Now I am formatting the line, so the next part is visible equals true, but I don't really need this because this is the default option, so I'll delete that. Then on the next line I have for color dot object theme color equals theme color accent five, and this is where I change it to purple, so I do need to keep this. But the following three lines for tint and shade, brightness and transparency, they're all equal to zero, and these are all also the default options. So I don't really need those because I'm not changing any of those. Then down here, I have another with selection dot format dot line. So we're still formatting the line. Then I have another visible equals true. And again, I don't really need this. And then I have weight equals one. And this is where I change the width of the line to one. So I'm going to copy this line and paste it up here. Then I no longer need this part of the code, so I'll delete that. Then I have another selection format line, and another visible equals true, and then I have dash style equals line long dash. And I want this line here, so I'm going to copy that and paste it up here. Then I no longer need this part. And now I've combined all of the three things that I want to change. At the moment, this is only being applied to the active chart. So the next step is to make this work for all of the charts. I'll start by defining a new variable, so I'll type dim. Then I need to decide what name I'm going to give this variable, so I'm going to call it chart. Then I need to tell it what type of variable it is, and I am going to type as chart. Then I'm going to create a for loop. So I'll type for each chart in application dot charts. And this will make it loop through all of the charts. Then I need to close off the for loop. So at the bottom, I will put next. Then I need to change the part here that says active chart and replace it with chart or CHT. Now I've got the code set up. I want to save this and I need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. So I'll change the save as type here 
to an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. And now I will run this code. Then we can have a look to see if this has actually worked by looking at the other charts and you can see that they've all changed to purple. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to format charts using VBA in Excel and that is everything.